everyone. It is day two of our trip to Tennessee. We woke up in Athens, Tennessee this morning at the Fairfield and I am about to head down to get breakfast. It's hot breakfast, complimentary, and then gonna get ready for the day. from breakfast and finished getting ready, finished packing, and we are about to head on the road. I just wanted to show you guys my outfit real quick for the day. I got these black jeans uh, thrifted. My shoes are Blowfish slip-ons from Plato's Closet, and this shirt is also from Plato's Closet. <laughs> just made it to Sevierville, Tennessee, and we stopped at a Publix real quick, as well as a Five Below right next door just to check some things out. We're still waiting for our Airbnb to be ready. They're cleaning it, so we're just gonna hang out in the area, try to drive around. Uh, we did stop at a coffee shop earlier called Southern Grace Coffee Co. in Maryville, which is about 30 to 40 minutes from Sevierville. <laughs> So we just finished spending some time at the Tennessee Legend Distillery and Gatlinburg Brewing Company, which was super fun. The distillery does free samples. We got about eight small samples of uh, different moonshines and whiskeys and rums. and It was really fun. And then we, got, uh, we each got a flight of beer at the Gatlinburg Brewing Company. We just got to our Airbnb. Uh, we're unpacking now. So as I am editing this video, I have realized that I lost a few clips. I pretty much don't have any of the clips from the Annecy Whiskey Distillery uh, or the Gatlinburg Brewing Company. I also don't have all of the clips from the rest of the Airbnb tour, so that's very unfortunate. But I have everything else. I just wanted to disclose that real quick that I definitely did record it um, and it just got lost in the shuffle somewhere. cooked on the fire pit and some macaroni and cheese and we spent some time just sitting around talking for a little bit the sun is starting to set it is eight o'clock and guys i am so tired i'm already in my pajamas i go to bed um it's another busy day tomorrow but i can't wait to take you all along with me day three of our trip to Tennessee and it is 6 45 in the morning the sun is just now rising and it's gonna be a beautiful day in the mountains of East Tennessee I fixed myself a cup of tea and I'm just sitting out listening to the birds and it feels so nice out I honestly never want to leave <laughs> We 
just left the cabin a little bit ago. I stopped to get some gas and we are on our way to Cades Cove, which is more south from where we are now. It's about an hour drive. <music> So we just spent some time at Cades Cove, which was so beautiful. Uh, we didn't see a lot of wildlife. Uh, the guy at the visitor center said that it was an 11 mile loop, could take up to three hours, but I assume that's with stopping at a lot of the different landmarks, as well as a potential for seeing a lot of wildlife that could cause some traffic. We got through it in an hour and a half, which was great. Uh, and then we headed to Townsend where we checked out the area. It's a small town. They call it the peaceful side of the Smokies. And so there was peaceful side brewery and uh, kitchen. And then there's peaceful side creamery, which was ice cream. It was really good. We went to Tennessee Mountain Valley Winery where they had free samples of their different wine. The vineyard is actually in Charleston, Tennessee, which is about I think he said two hours south. We did get to check out the base outside of Townsend though, so that was really fun. Then I kind of split off from um, my mom and my aunt and uncle and tried to drive through Gatlinburg at, to see what was going on. Traffic was insane. Note to self and to you all, try to steer clear of Gatlinburg in the middle of summer. It's a Thursday. It, traffic, it would have, it took like 20 minutes to get through downtown. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so now I'm just gonna drive around a little bit longer and then come and go back to the cabin to rest up. 